Okay, so what's up, everybody? It's Morton Joe 245, and today we're taking a look at Torpedo. Okay, so this is Torpedo, G.I. Joe's first Navy SEAL. He was uh, first on the shelves in 1983, and he was still on the shelves in 84, and then he was discontinued in 1985, which is actually you know, a long run for uh, G.I. Joe figures. They, only, they usually only stayed on the shelves for two years, but Torpedo got three. Torpedo was later available in a three-pack along with Tripwire and Snow Job. Now, in uh, 1985, uh, Torpedo did have a replacement in the form of Wetsuit, which unfortunately I do not have. And uh, I guess you could consider a uh, Deep Six as another G.I. Joe Dalberg, which unfortunately I don't have him either. But, um, now, uh, Torpedo's, like, you know, equivalent on, you know, the Cobra side would be, uh, the Cobra Eel, which would have been introduced in 85, the year, uh, Torpedo would have been replaced. Now, a Navy SEAL, when you say a Navy SEAL, obviously, you know, you're not talking about the animal of a SEAL. A Navy SEAL is... Uh, is you know a unit equipped for all you know terrain which you know with torpedo here he only really is equipped for one of his terrain since he's in a wetsuit okay so starting out with the accessories here is this harpoon and uh, you know a harpoon is a real life weapon that has like a like a spear and you know cords and you shoot this you know it shoots the spear off and um now this accessory is almost identical to the 25th anniversary version, which unfortunately I do not have. But um, now one key difference you can tell an original accessory from uh, the 25th anniversary one is the original accessory has like a, a trigger right there when the 25th anniversary one uh, doesn't. So that's a good way to, to tell. And uh, they also make weapons pack versions of these that are in different colors and stuff. But uh, the original accessory is a flat black, so keep that in mind. He also comes with this backpack with scuba tanks on the back here. Which, um, you can see there's only, only paint detail here is the orange scuba tanks themselves. But, you know, this is supposed to be on his back and, you know, propels him through the water. And, um, his last two accessories are his flippers. Which, uh, is not a whole lot of detail, you know, these are, you know, so you could, you know, flip through the, the water. And, uh, and they're, and they're designed for, uh, torpedoes. Foot for regular G.I. Joe foot with a big boot, you know, will not plug onto here. As you can see, the, the boot and the, the foot is too large to plug onto the flipper. Now with torpedo... You know, it goes in there pretty well. Okay, so let's go over Torpedo's articulation, starting with his head. He has a standard swivel at his, at his, at his head. He has a uh, you know, hinge joints at the elbows, and uh, you know, a hinge at the elbow, and a swivel, which was standard from 83 and on. The, the figure is, is held together with a rubber O-ring, so you get a pretty good range of motion. There you have a ball joint at the hip, and a bend at the knee. One thing I almost forgot to add here, it'd have been nice if we had like a like a hinge at the foot there so you could you get torpedo like in a, a swimming pose. But uh, you bend the knees, you can kind of get them like in a like a floating sort of pose. Okay, so let's take a, a look at the sculpt design and the colors of torpedo here, starting with his head. As you can see, he's wearing like a black rubber diving mask with which was supposed to be goggles on his uh, uh, head here which was not actually any plastic goggles here but as you can see he's also got like a mask with a hose going right here which you know is to feed him oxygen while he's in the water because you know humans can't obviously breathe underwater because you know humans ain't got gills so going down to his chest there's like four like pouches right here which I'm not sure why you would have pouches up here but probably keep a few things in I guess which, you know, he's wearing a wetsuit, which is what you would wear in, uh, in the water and, and stuff, basically. And, uh, which is not a whole 
a lot of detail, but see on his arms here, there's like zippers where it would zip up, which is actually pretty cool detail. We also got his gloves, which have a little bit of detail on top of his hands. There's a little bit of paint wear right there. Going down to his waist piece, there's like a detail, like belt buckle, and the belt goes all the way around, and it says made in Hong Kong on his rear end there. And on his right leg, there is a knife, which, you know, combat diver, divers normally carry a knife, you know, for, you know, diving purposes. And uh, on his other leg, there's some, what I think, maybe like small explosive devices, I, I think. I'm not sure exactly what these are, but uh, but some, some divers will carry like small charges and stuff on them. As you can see, there are some zippers at the bottom of his diving suit, like on his uh, wrist. And so there's some on the other side, which is pretty cool. And on his inner leg there, it says 1983 Hasbro, which I don't think it says anything on his other one. No, I don't. He's got peg holes at the bottom of it. Okay, so let's take a look at the file card that the figure came with. The file card, you know, is, you know, part of the back of the cards, which the, you know, figure was came on when it was new. It says, you swivel on battle grip, which is, you should have said, me you know, where it's been cut off the thing. And, uh... Yeah, the Hasbro logo. So I might tore this one pretty clean, too. So, so it says Seal, Sea, Air, and Land. Code name Torpedo. File name Edward W. Leoleha. Which um, I don't know how to say that. Hawaiian. There's a serial number. Primary military specialty is Navy Seal. Secondary military specialty is Demolitions. Birthplace is Area Hawaii. Forgive me if I mispronounced it. Graded W04, Warrant Officer. Torpedo was a scuba instructor prior to enlistment. Attained black belts and three martial arts by age 19. Wushu, Kimpo, and Goju Ryo. Proficient with Filipino butterfly knife, uh, ballet song, um, which uh, I actually have like a butter knife, like fly comb thingy somewhere, which is pretty cool. You take and flip it around, it is pretty cool. Which, uh, ballet song is like a, another word for that, I believe. Training records and after SEAL school, classified, qualified expert in most NATO small arms and NATO Warsaw Pact explosive devices. Spent off duty hours perfecting his fighting skills and marksmanship. Strict vegetarian, regarded by his team mates as highly competent professional, but has the personality of a cold fish which uh, I guess you could really say that since he's a frogman but um yeah so uh no I'm not a strict vegetarian so I wouldn't really know how that works but um you know, this has a uh, pretty good uh, depth to these uh, these early file cards you know and but, you know they did stuff like this to you know kind of differentiate you know each character from each other Okay, so for Torpedo's media appearances, he, you know, made appearances in the, uh, uh, G.I. Joe comic book, as well as, you know, some, you know, minor appearances in the Sunbow animated series. I do not believe he appeared in the DK made series, because, you know, he, you know, was, you know, character, you know, way before, you know, the DK made series that would ever existed. Okay, so my final thoughts on Torpedo, you know, I like this figure. I give it a pretty, uh, you know, top tier level. Now, um, there are some issues I have with this figure, which is one thing is trying to get the figure to stand up because he wants to topple a lot because of his flippers and stuff. But, um, other than that, though, I mean, you know, pretty cool figure. You know, a lot of cool details, you know, for, you know, it's hard to include a lot of details on a wetsuit because, you know, wetsuits usually skin tight too. He's not going to have a lot of pockets and flaps and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, uh, they added a pr pretty good amount of detail there, which you can kind of see a little bit of dirt in his uh elbow joint right there which is kind of a funny story we actually uh blowtorch and torpedo here were actually uh we found out in our garden one time and uh because you know they probably uh got uh when my daddy when he was a kid you know he played with these they they uh probably got lost out there and he uh, couldn't find them and they stayed out there for probably 40 years or so and then we ended up going out there and finding them one day so when I do a, a review on Blowtorch, I'll explain a little bit more detail into that story. But, uh, but still, and also a fun fact, too, an international release of, uh, a figure of 
Superman figure, I forgot what country, but used the mold of Torpedo, which even still had the pockets on his chest and everything. It was kind of odd looking, but I mean, it worked. I mean, it's kind of a skin tight suit like Superman's suit would be. So if you uh, like this review, um, this is uh, Morton Joe uh, 245, and I'll see y'all next review.